Hi, and welcome to my lesson on one-step equations with rational coefficients. So working from this seventh grade uh, Go Math textbook. And we're going to be solving equations here, and specifically one-step equations. But before I get into that, I wanted to lay a little bit of groundwork here. Let's say I have uh, 8 minus 5. Okay, uh, that obviously is equal to 3. Now, this is an equation. It has an equal sign here. Uh, what I could do is I could play around with this. This is 8 minus 5. The operation here is subtraction. Well, the inverse, and I would like to say uh, inverse operations. Uh, inverse operations are opposite operations. So addition and subtraction, those are inverses of each other. And multiplication and division, those are inverses of each other. So coming back to my example of 8 minus 5 equals 3, I could rewrite this using inverse operations. I could say 8 is equal to and if I bring this over to the other side, I have to use the inverse operation. So if I bring it to the other side of the equal sign, I have to call it a plus 5. And watch what happens. 8 is equal to 3 plus 5, isn't it? Because we know that 3 plus 5 is 8. So I'm going to use the same idea. I could, I could also, I could, uh, I could have uh, maybe uh, 7 plus 4. Well, 7 plus 4 is 11. But if I were to bring this 4 to the other side here, I would have to, as it passes this equal sign, I would have to use the inverse operation of subtracting 4. And so if I were to rewrite this, it would be 7 is equal to 11 minus 4. Right? So I use these ideas of inverse operations to solve equations. So let's take a look at this here. This in example one from the textbook, I want to rewrite this uh, A. Problem A is x plus 3.2 is equal to negative 8.5. And I'm going to use the idea uh, that I had right here. I'm going to use this idea where if I'm adding 4, if I bring it to the other side of the equal sign, it would be the same as subtracting 4. So, as I have this uh, adding 3.2, I'm going to bring it to the other side as subtracting 3.2. And so what I have now is I have uh, x is equal to negative 8.5 minus 3.2. Now, you should be good at uh, adding these types of decimals. I see it as you got to add them up here. So it's going to be a larger negative number, if you will. So negative, uh, what, 11.7. And that's exactly what the answer was brought here. They did it a slightly different way. And that's fine. Now, one cool thing about equations is when you solve it, which this is uh, negative 11.7 is said to be the solution. It is now solved. We know what x is. And I should have written x there. So x is negative 11.7. How do you know? Well, you can plug, if you have your original equation, which is this here, that's our original equation. And if I plug in this negative 11.7 in for x, I should get negative 8.5. So I'll bring this up here. And uh, I would have negative 11.7 plus 3.2. If I combine these up, you can even do it in a calculator. You get negative 8.5, which is equal to negative 8.5. And that is said to be a true statement. It checks out. So what this means is I, I solve for x and x is said to be negative 11.7. I plug it back into my original equation, and sure enough, it works. I hit my target of negative 8.5. Now, there's another problem. 
B on the page, and that is negative 2 thirds plus Y, I believe, is equal to 8. And for this, we have, uh, hmm, I'm going to want, it, how about I switch these? I could switch them to make it a little more apparent of what I have to do. So that would be y minus 2 thirds equals 8. Now if I want to solve for y, I have to move the 2 thirds to the other side of the equal sign. But in doing so, it becomes, instead of minus 2 thirds, it becomes a plus 2 thirds. And I can now erase this part. So y is equal to 8 plus 2 thirds, which, wow, that's pretty easy. That is 8 and 2 thirds. <laughs> Super easy on that one. Okay. And for C, for problem C, that is uh, 30 is equal to uh, negative 0 0.5 times A. And A is some other variable. Some uh, It represents a number that we don't know yet. But we're going to solve for A. And back in inverse operation land, where I showed you here, I said that the inverse operations are always used. So inverse of multiplication is division. And so coming back to this here, I can see that this is negative 0 0.5 times A. So the inverse of multiplication is division. So then A is going to be 30 divided by negative 0 0.5. And when I divide that out, and you can throw it in a calculator, you know, that won't matter so much, then that would be negative 60. And usually what I didn't do is we usually box our answers. So that, I found the solution, and I found the solution to this one as well. And for, uh, I have one more on that page, which is D. Oops. D is, uh, is that, uh, I believe it's A divided by 3.5 is equal to 9.2. And it's actually negative in the front. Now, one thing that's pretty important to know is uh, if you have a over 3.5 and then the negative is in front, it really doesn't matter where that negative is. Uh, if you have uh, a and you decide to put the negative on the denominator, same thing. It is equal. Or you can have the negative in the numerator. Oops, <laughs> but you can't have it in both spots, which is what I just did. 3.5. So you can have it anywhere you want. I'm going to elect to have it in the bottom because that's, I'm going to elect to have it, I'm going to rewrite it this way. It's going to make it a little bit easier to solve. Let me show you. So if you have a over negative 3.5 equals 9.2. Then let's look at what operation is happening next to the variable. And that's what you're always doing here. You're checking out the variable, what operation is happening with the variable. Identify that first. So I'm dividing by negative 3.5. So then I think about, well, what's the inverse of dividing? Well, it's multiplying. So A then a is equal to 9.2 times, I'll put a big dot for times, negative 3.5. And so, uh, yeah, negative 3.5. And that product is, it is negative, negative 32.2. So that is what A is said to be when you solve for it. All right, so we're at this example two, and uh, it says a scuba diver is exploring at an elevation of negative 12.2 meters. That's, that means uh, she's 12.2 meters under sea level. And as the diver rises to the surface, she plans to stop at, briefly at a reef that has an elevation of negative 4.55 meters. Find the vertical distance the diver will travel. And we have a nice little graphic here. So... 
Here we go. And so she starts starts at negative 12.2 meters and goes up that distance. So uh, rises, so goes up. We don't know yet how far and arrives at negative 4.55 meters. Okay, so to solve this, as I pass the equal sign, I'm going to use an inverse operation. So uh, the, sub ne the negative 12.2 works the same as a subtraction of 12.2. So I would add 12.2 to the right-hand side. So what we have is x is equal to negative 4.55 plus 12.2. And so in the end, that equals, now I end up having to subtract these, you know, how this usually works. And a calculator works quite well with that. But when you, uh, when you end up finishing, it's, what, 7.65 meters. Okay, so that's how far she went up. That's this distance right here, 7.65 meters. And that would be our, our answer. Pretty simple. Now we have example three, and it says here that uh, between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., the temperature decreases at an average of three-fourths of a degree per hour. How long in hours and minutes will it take for the temperature to decrease by five degrees? Okay, so we have some time here, and then it decreases at an average rate of three-fourths of a degree per hour. So it decreases. So that means it's going to be going down. Negative three-fourths of a degree per hour. How many hours? Well, I don't know how many hours. So we call that x. And then it has to uh, decrease uh, by five degrees. So how many hours to decrease, uh, will it decrease by five? So it would be negative five because it's, it's a decrease. If it was an increase, it would be positive five. So we got to solve this equation here. And what I'm looking at is inverse operations. I have to first identify, well, that's multiplication. It's negative 3 fourths times x. And the inverse of multiplication is division. So I'm going to have to, in order to bring this over here, I have to divide by negative 3 fourths. So what that looks like is x is going to be equal to negative 5 divided by negative 3 fourths. And negative 5 is negative 5 over 1. And I have to turn that division into multiplication. And when I do so, I have to flip the second fraction. OK. Well, then what I have now is, what, negative 20 over negative 3. Negative divided by negative is positive. So it's 20 over 3 uh, hours. Well. If it's 20 over 3 hours, let's see. I can say that 20 over 3 is 6 and 2 thirds. So this is the hours. And this is the part of an hour, which we call a minute. So let's figure out 2 thirds uh, in minutes. So that would be times uh, there's 60 minutes in an hour, so that would be 120 over 3, which is 40 minutes. Our final answer would be 6 hours and 40 minutes. And that's what you got to know about all uh, in this lesson of uh, solving equations with rational coefficients. Thanks for watching.